Hello, hello, and welcome to the Warrior's Experience. I'm your host, Aurora, and I'm so happy to be spending some time with you today. It's just going to be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe a little longer, but it's time where you can just focus in on yourself and relax, disconnect from a busy life. I really like that new little intro here, so I'm really excited to post this episode. I hope you like it too, by the way. (laughs) So yeah, the other day I was talking about playfulness and how you should um, try out new things that excite you or where you know you're going to fail, but eventually you will get better at it and learn. I just went skiing today on like backcountry skis. And it's a very weird new thing to try out because I'm only alpine skiing otherwise. And I fell pretty hard and hurt myself pretty badly. (laughs) But in the end, I can just, yeah, laugh about it and be excited to try it again and know that, yeah, I might get hurt, but I'm going to do it differently next time. So, so much to trying out new things and being playful and stuff. Today I want to talk about your truth. Yes, do you live your truth? Do you speak your truth? Do you live an honest life? I think that's a very uncomfortable topic to talk about for some. And for others it's very inspiring, energizing and um, mind-opening. So I will try and talk to both today. What is your truth and how honest can you be with the people around you? Especially if you live in a committed relationship, a monogamous committed relationship. If you live with roommates or if you are in really good contact with your family. Um, How about your friends? How much do they know about you and how truthful can you be with them? It is hardest, I think, to have these conversations where you know you're going to speak your truth and the person who's listening, the person who's sitting, uh, sorry, sitting in front of you might not receive it well, might not accept you, respect you, Um, after you spoke your truth. They might see you differently. A relationship might change after you spoke your truth out. But what can we do about it? Um, Should we just suppress our truth and try and figure it out on our own? I don't know. Um... Some people have to. Some people are way too scared to open up and share their truth. There's a lot of cases out there of people who are craving a same-sex relationship and they just can't make that leap because they are still too scared of what the judgment of others is going to feel like and the sharp opinions of society. So they, they decide to live in a closet and not come out and is that good for their soul and for their health not only mental health but physical health of course not but they still see the price is too high to come out um, and they prefer to keep it a secret what they're desiring what if you are in a partnership where you all of a sudden don't know if you want to have kids. You get along so well. You both have jobs. You're happy together. And initially when you met, you talked about having kids, but now you changed your mind. What about these big topics? What if we don't talk about them? And what if we talk about them? I think the most important thing I learned is that you have to talk about it and you have to stick to your guns and you also have to communicate it in a way 
that the person really understands and sees you and maybe can see how hard it is for you to talk about it. And at the same time, being very vulnerable, I think it's very important to also know exactly where you stand and then stick to it. Because a lot of people, when they hear something they don't want to hear, they're going to distract away from the topic maybe or they will attack you or they will um, be defensive about it have a strong reaction and sometimes we don't expect that but if you can anticipate it and know okay there might be a strong rea reaction coming up from the other part but I know what I want. I know what is best for me. I know what brings me joy. And I will not move away, step away from that path I'm on or a different direction I want to take on. So let's take your parents. Maybe your parents see you working in a specific job Maybe your dad has a company and ever since you're little, he can see you working in that company. But ever since you're little, you can see that he doesn't really support your artistic side. He doesn't really understand that becoming a movie director is one of your biggest dreams and would make you feel so fulfilled and awesome so what do you do about that do you have to submit to your parents wishes or can you go out there and live your truth and be proud of yourself at the same time and not wait for them to give you approval or to be proud of you that will come eventually that will come as soon as they see that you're happy and really shining out there but you can't wait for it because people sometimes can't give you that approval because they didn't receive it and what you're trying to do out there is so far off that they just can't give that thing to you and I said that before when it came to approval how is evolution possible if you don't step out of the box of your family. A couple people out there I know are born into families where they have to make that first step into a new world. Otherwise, it's just going to be a co continuous circle of like a little mediocre life that this person was not born to live. That person has to break out and risk to maybe be rejected for a certain time, but trust that it's only going to be for a certain time, and those people will turn around if they truly love you and see your happiness and that you're living your truth. It is really so inspiring. When you see someone in their flow, when you see someone speaking their truth, isn't that something that is so admirable? someone who knows how to set boundaries and knows how to say yes, but also how to say no. So what I want you to do today or maybe over the next couple of days is reflecting about your relationship and how truthful can you be with those people around you? How do they react when you speak your truth? And can you speak your truth in a kind way, in a very confident way, so that the other doesn't feel attacked or rejected? Of course, if you're in a committed relationship, monogamous, was your guy's style so far, and now all of a sudden you feel like, oh shit, I want to be with different people. I still love that one person, but I also want to be with different people. 
that's a very scary conversation to have because you guys might not be on the same page. But can you trust that there is a way to be truthful but still respectful with the other person? And yeah, maybe it means that you guys have to break up and you have to find someone who is okay with open relationships. But you can't just go out there and start cheating and start living a double life. That's going to hurt your soul and your health way more than if you decide to have that very deep and honest conversation. I feel a lot of times when you talk with people who went through a divorce, you can also see there that communication was not always open and honest. Like the guy who is the provider and does all the money-making work and instead of talking to his wife, his partner, and telling her that he's overwhelmed and that he needs support and all that jazz, you know, if she truly loves him, then they're going to find a way that he feels more supported. But if he decides to start drinking instead, smoking, going out to the bars, maybe committing adultery, having sex with others, then it's not going to make it better. It's going to temporarily make him feel better and make him feel supported and understood and help him to cope with that stress. But long term, it's totally going to ruin himself and the relationship. So I think if we learn to, from the start, be so honest and also realistic about what we need and want, there'd be less breakups, less divorces out there. Yeah. I think that's it. That's my message for today. You can't be radically truthful um, from one day to the other if you see yourself now living a lie or not being completely honest but you can slowly steer your steering wheel into that direction and start being more honest more transparent with people and you will see it will change your relationship in such a beautiful way they will be able to relate with you on a deeper level or the people who don't like your truth are gonna fade out and move away and that's okay too because you're going to attract new people into your life that are more in alignment with you. So, now, I want to thank you for listening to this. I hope it was not too much of a swallow, bitter pill to swallow. <laughs> um, I will heal my wounds now from my little accident today. Um, take really good care of yourself. If you want to connect with me, add me on Instagram, The Borealis Experience, or on Facebook, Aurora Eggert. And um, yeah, I'll be out there tomorrow again. Thanks for letting me be very raw, genuine, and truthful here with you. I never have to put on a smiley face or happy face. I really... Enjoy that deeply. Bye-bye.